I didn't feel the nerves as such, no. Uh, just as normal as, uh, as every fight that I've had, you know. Uh, I didn't feel any different, really. So, uh, no, it was a tough fight. The kid was good, you know. Uh, he came to fight. I haven't been in there for a while. Uh, so it was nice to get three rounds in, actually. I'd like to quick finish, but it was nice to get the time in there again and, uh, and you know, it, it do my game plan that I wanted to do. So there's a few, you know, bits, of, bits and bobs. I wasn't overly happy with my performance, you know, but... It was, you know, it wasn't my best performance, but it was a reasonably good performance, and I got the job done. So, yeah, it's all good. I mean, like, like you're saying, there's a lot of time off. Like, how do you kind of keep yourself kicking over, and how do you uh, know you're going to be ready when you got ahead? Uh, yeah, I mean, I've been training non-stop the whole time I've been out. Uh, even without having a fight, I've been training two, three times a day. I've been training over at Alpha Male for the past sort of year, back and forth, six months over there. Uh, so, uh, you know, doing rounds every week, you know, six, twelve rounds, you know. So I knew that I'd be ready when I got in there. I knew I'd be have the fitness, and uh, you know, I felt, you know, that was probably, you know, the only thing I did feel. You know, I did feel it a little bit more than I normally would probably, but you know, that was just getting back in there. And uh, but no, I was happy with it overall. I have to look back, look at, look over it again. But no, I was reasonably happy with it. Obviously, uh, you you control the fight with your wrestling predominantly. Yeah. Yeah. Did catch it a few times though, especially with the knee. Yeah. Um, no, there was no, there was, there was no shots that really uh, hurt me badly. You know, I, I felt the shots. You know, I felt a couple of right hands, and uh, I didn't really feel any knees. Actually, I think he threw like a flying knee that I shot in on, but it didn't really connect. Um, he caught me with an elbow from the bottom. Uh, again, it wasn't anything that sort of uh, disturbed me. So, uh, but yeah, I controlled the. That was the game plan. You know, take it to him with the wrestling, and uh, you know, use my uh, size and my strength. And uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a strong featherweight, so. Uh, I knew I was going to have the advantage there and, and have the wrestling advantage, so uh, that was the game plan, really. But it made it a hard fight, definitely, because that's probably the hardest aspect of the game, you know? You can bounce around and move around and sort of flick jabs out all day long, sort of, but that grinding wrestling style was a hard one to keep up for three rounds. So, uh, yeah, but it was good. You mentioned that you weren't overly happy with your performance. Why not? Uh, it just wasn't the cleanest performance, you know, but... Uh, and, uh, you know, I feel like my conditioning could have been a little bit better. Uh, but, you know, that might, that might have been nerves. I just didn't feel nervous, you know, but that might have been a whole adrenaline and everything going in there. But I didn't feel it personally, but it might have affected my cardio and stuff like that. And I also I had a bit of a deviated septum uh, and uh, he, he caught me with a jab. And I think that sort of bust my nose a bit and that made, me, made it hard to breathe. Uh, so that, that probably had a, uh, that had a factor into it as well. So. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I knew it was a good performance. It just wasn't the cleanest performance, you know. It was quite, uh, quite scrappy, but that's the fight game, I suppose. It's not always going to be clean. Yeah. You mentioned there about you not getting those nerves, but you were nervous <coughs> to make the UFC debut back in March, weren't you? I was, yeah. I presume you got geared up for that, and then you know the disappointment of that yeah. not going through. How did you manage to gear yourself up again for uh, for this card this week? Yeah, uh, I mean that was quite uh, obviously it was it was frustrating at the time and. Uh, it was devastating when Sean came in and said, when I was warming up, I wasn't uh, done the whole week. I'd gone and got my medicals, back and forth hospital four times, warming up backstage, weighed in, warming up backstage, wrapped up, ready to go. And then Sean comes and says, it's off half an hour before we're supposed to go out. So uh, apart from obviously the, the disappointment and the frustration of that, it, it, it almost was a dress rehearsal of the build-up, you know. So that helped me in, in, in a certain extent. I knew what to expect. I knew when I was coming in there what, what was going to go on, blah, blah, blah. So... It helped me and uh, helped me almost prepare, you know, I knew what was going to go on. And uh, so apart from getting in the cage, that was, you know, I'd done everything else, you know. So, yeah, I think it actually helped in, in some respect. How did it feel then finally making that walk up? It was brilliant, you know, it was brilliant. I felt, uh, you know, I had my Bob Marley on and that always uh, chills me out and just, uh, you know, just go with the flow then. And uh, I felt great. I felt great. So now with your uh, UFC debut out of the way and, and by way of victory, What's next for you? Like, do you have anything in the, like, do you want to take some time off? Do you have anything to take some time off? No, I mean, I've, I've had enough time off. I need to stay active now. And, uh, you know, now I'm, uh, I'm in a position where I can, uh, you know, provide property for my family as well out of this game. You know, it's hard when you're fighting in promotions outside of the UFC and you're, you're, you're hardly taking anything home from each fight. And you've got to train like a professional. So you're training all the time. You can't really have a full-time job if you want to take it seriously. So, uh I've got two kids at home and uh, providing for them is hard, you know, if you, uh, but now I can, you know, fight regularly and bring some decent money home, so uh, that's what I want to do. Now, is there anyone in particular you have in mind? Cause, I mean, no, you not. Know, if you want something in, in the US, you Yeah, yeah, you've got to ask for it. Yeah, I mean, I'm easy, man. I never, I never sort of call people out. It's not been my style, but uh, 
anyone that Sean puts in front of me, I'll never turn down a fight. So, uh, you know, I was supposed to fight Artem Lobov, uh, but I wasn't supposed to fight him. They offered Artem this fight. Uh, he wanted more time to prepare. That'd be a fight, you know, he's come up on the scene. I'd like that fight, but I don't want to call anyone out. It's not my style. But uh, anyone Sean wants me to fight, I'm ready to fight, you know. If, and if they're in the top ten or whatever, you know, I'm, I don't care, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm, not, I'm not worried, you know. Let's build it up, you know, let's do it properly. If that's the way, it, you know, it needs to be in the UFC, then... Uh, but I'm, I'm ready, you know, I'm ready for challenges, and that's, that's what I get in here for. It's not, you know, I want to challenge myself and fight the best guys. So, uh, yeah, let's, you know, step in stones and stuff, as they say, but uh, whoever, whoever. Yeah, it was, I mean, Sean offered it to him on like three and a half weeks, so it was quite late, you know, uh, three and a half, four weeks, I think, so I can understand he wanted more time to prepare, um, but and maybe he wants a bigger fight, you know, I'm just coming in as a debut, he's got a bit of a name for himself, especially being Connor's training partner and stuff, so maybe he wants a bigger name as well, he just fought, you know, big guys, Cub Swanson and stuff like that, so... Uh, Good yeah. fight for you, right? it's, a good yeah, it's a great fight for me, but exactly, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a good fight for me. I, I've got a lot of positives to get from it, and he hasn't got so much to, to gain. So that's another reason why I probably didn't uh, want to take the fight. But like I said, whoever uh, Sean puts in front of me, I'm willing to uh, accept. So we'll go from there.